a recap of Composing for the New Era, Part 5, Quiet Building. In today's episode, we re-entered Oh my God, we re-entered in a lot of different ways, but the main thing is we've gotten focused on MIDI flows, musical interchange, digital interface. So um, uh, we just acquired a, a keyboard, a MIDI controller like this, which you can't see very well. We'll look at it later. Um, we are in a mode of what we call building, quiet constructive building. And we're heavily into a learning stage now. So what we did is we did some research on what is a sequencer, what is an arpeggiator. A sequencer is a thing that generates notes in a row and repeats them. An arpeggiator is something that takes a chord and breaks them up into sequential notes. So they're very much related to each other. The interesting thing about a, and let's start showing you this new gadget that that we've got. If we turn on our other camera here, this is now sitting in front of our main computer, this keyboard here. Which is kind of cool. But this keyboard doesn't play any music. All it does is send electrical signals through this wire into our computer and then the programs that we've been using for lo these many chapters episodes and series um, actually generate the sounds and that's what we mean by we're doing this experiment so this experiment consisted of taking exporting here you see and we've done this before you export a MIDI file and then you send it down and then you import it here with an import MIDI and then but if you a MIDI by itself can't play anything you have to run it through a blah 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 so that was one way that we experimented with um, uh, the MIDI flow back and forth between MuseScore which is our annotation program and Reaper which is our digital audio workstation and then the second way that we began experimenting is um, just cut to the chase number two looks like this and here um, Well, that's not the most exciting thing in the world, but what is exciting about it is here it is over here. And notice it has soft and loud notes. And what happened is that we took and uh, used this MIDI controller and directly recorded notes onto here. Now let's see if we can demonstrate that. We're going to probably have to close this because um, one of the things we're learning is that okay, now it's ready. Now it's ready to go, I think. Okay, so now okay, let's turn our camera on again. Now you're hearing kind of a dull sine wave sound. So I go like this. And I know that that's hard for you to see because this is so darn big. We, we have a lot of learning ahead of us here. But I think if we do that, then... Let's see, we're, we're looking now. Yeah, we're hitting harder and softer. I can't even tell what we're looking at. We we are so in learning mode right now. It's it's just knocking our our socks off. So we'll assume we got that. 
And the beauty of this is that if we care to, we can about, you see what we're saying here? You see what we're saying? You see what we're saying? We are in heavy new learning mode and it's kind of fun. So now we're going to, now, now let's try it. Like that. So if we go home and play it, and then, okay, we're going to stop showing the camera because we're not even sure what you're seeing. Then you can export this file as a MIDI selected track only demo plus this proves us whether we still can do it or not okay now we open muse score again and then we uh, go open Which one was that? The one we just made. And now you see you get this wacko looking thing. And it's using the Muse score um, piano patch instead of the the reaper which uh which was that kind of dull synth sound but it's the same data it's the midi data that's the point and so in this ch uh, chapter we were able to successfully uh, use our new midi keyboard to punch something into reaper then go out of Reaper into um, MuseScore and then and then get that kind of stuff. Luckily, we have cleaner looking stuff, which is what we were showing you a minute ago. We had um, keyboard to Reaper to Muse2, which was this one. This is a lot cleaner. And that one was... Uh, sounds like this. Well, if we stop muting it, that is. And so the trick we learned was that you have to, you have to kind of clip the recorded MIDI file at the start and the end and, and give MuseScore a halfway decent chance of um, correctly importing it. See, this is the MIDI control fan. This is all new to us, all new. Now, the other cool thing about this MIDI controller thingy is you can see now MuseScore has taken over again. Now, when I, when I press the keys and here we go again, here we go again. Um. There we go. Okay, now. We did all that. Now you just saw us recording while well, playing live through MuseStep, but then we, if you press N, which is how you record notes, then you get stuff here. So this is what, okay, enough of Anyway, what we're going to do is play this wonderful improvisation on five notes that the point was we played them by hand onto the keyboard and let it run its little, um, we played it as a chord, and what chord is that, you might well ask. 
It is whatever this chord is. It's kind of a... I don't even claim... Uh, it's... it's uh, I don't know what kind of chord that is. It could be a, a C major chord. I mean, C... You got a 3... A 4-3... Three one and a one four, and we're using uh, we're using. I'd say it's a it's a full chord and it's and it's uh, ambiguous ambivalent because it's got the major mode and the minor urge and the neutral and the root. Yeah, so it's an ambivalent full C chord. So what we're going to do is play it for you, and that'll bring us home. My God. like about this, this this ends today's chapter is that we were successfully able to go back and forth between a, a, a MIDI controller and our computer we were able to prove to ourselves that we could take a MIDI file out of MuseScore that we wrote in MuseScore and get it into Reaper and that and that we were able to take uh, a MIDI file that we made from this thing into Reaper and push it into uh, MuseScore, and that we were also able to directly record from this uh, MIDI controller into into um, Muse and 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 play the better sounding synthesizers and pianos and whatnot. So our ideas for next time are to. Uh, oh God, we didn't even talk about it. We finished editing a team video and we put our music at the beginning and the end of it. It's done. It looks great. I'm going to keep doing our MIDI experiments. And we do have an idea for a new theme piece of music called Gain and Awareness. And uh, shout-outs to Miss Cleo and Silent Lurker. We appreciate you. So you all turn in, tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care. Do come back. And do keep on streaming.